Can you hear us? Whoa. Welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Happy and healthy? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. And you? <laughs> Very well. Thank you. I'm, uh, I was worried about the time change thing, but I did right. I'm, I'm here on time. <laughs> oh, good. So that happened? Yes, yeah, because like, I always get confused because you guys don't change daylight savings nope. and stuff. So it's like, okay, are we the same or are we different? Which I, way is it? I ask him constantly. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we didn't change either. It drives us crazy. Well, there's a little website you can go to. <laughs> And um, it's it, and it it tells you it, you just type in if it's five o'clock in Arizona it's blank you leave it blank in and then your zip code. Oh, and okay. It tells you exactly what time it is. Oh, that's good to know. I'll put it on my Facebook because that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us need a lot of help. I know. <laughs> So in this, it looks like we have Susan Parker's here. Susan, you can unmute yourself. Where are you from? She might be here. <laughs> oh, there she is. I am here. I'm, I'm here in Phoenix. Oh, wonderful. So I've never, ever joined in, and I just saw your thing on your Facebook, and I thought, oh, shoot, I'll just uh, hop in and see what you're, what you're all about. So, oh, wonderful. And I'm trying to remember what the subject was uh, for tonight. I, something that interested me, and now I can't remember. So. Right. So uh, it's all about partner access. Oh, that's right. Okay. And the right way to use it. There's a right okay. way and a wrong way. And if you okay. do it the wrong way, you don't get very good results. <laughs> okay, well, that's that sounds like a thing I need to know. So okay. that's good. Are you are you signed up with Partner Access yet? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I am. Good. All right. Well, let's hope that you were trained right on it, and this probably won't be any new information for you. <laughs> so we'll just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, stake are you in? I'm in your stake. You are. I am. You probably you know me. You just don't you you might recognize me i'm a good friend of delphus oh. and i would come over to in fact i was came over to your house when you did your little uh, my, my boutique yeah 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 uh-huh <laughs> yep. i didn't yeah. do it this year no i know and then delphus is gone of course so she didn't do it but right um no i haven't done a lot with family history i when i was in the Relief <laughs> society presidency i signed up for this because that was my assignment and that's when I got registered and came to, to a couple of your classes but I don't do that anymore I oh. but I'm wanting to find out I mean I wanted to listen to you today for myself I'm oh exactly so I didn't think you'd kick me out just because I don't have a calling <laughs> to do that <laughs> we don't kick anybody out ever I know. <laughs> <laughs> have yeah. you heard from Delta yeah, I get it. Well, every week she sends, she and Todd send out a, a uh, email and oh, just kind of recap what their week is. And I think they're enjoying it a lot. I know they are. Yeah. So, and they'll be wonderful. So good doing what they're doing over there. So, yes, it's getting cold and wet. She's complained, not complained. She's commented, mm -hmm. I should say, about cold and wet. So, all right. So she's talking, Cheryl, she's talking about a friend of ours. <coughs> and I, every year I do a boutique where I do my jewelry and whatever, tote bags, whatever I've got. And she uh, loves to make aprons. She inherited a garage full of material. Oh, wow! So she makes these beautiful aprons and um, I, I, just the cutest designs. And so this year she went, she and her husband went on a mission to England. Oh, wow. And wow. they are just having a ball. <laughs> How exciting. It is. Aww. She also That's started using Todd's to old shirts. She started using Todd's old shirts with the, in, with the collars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. That, mm -hmm. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. Hello, Brother Gauthier. Did I say that right? Let's see. We're coming in. He's still connecting. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, I don't know if we will have a big turnout today, but everybody's welcome. One gal from the Philippines said she wanted to um, to watch. So, you know, like I said, everybody's welcome. We love everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and we don't get paid to do this. It's, it's just what we do for fun. Part of our calling. You guys are wonderful. Well, we try hard. <laughs> All right. Well, it's about that time. So maybe we should just go ahead and uh, share our screen and introduce ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Don't have much of an audience. But I know. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is that we are uh, recording this and we actually gave it to uh, several people. Oh, hold on just a second. Oh, it's telling us, telling people to call in. Oh, here we go. Hold on just a second. Keep talking. While you check your messages. Uh, this lady's trying to log in. Uh, go to. I had trouble going, getting logged in from my email that you guys sent. You it did. went somewhere else. Yeah, it, it gave me a list of the previous classes you've had. So oh. I went back to Facebook and signed in that way. Okay. I, yeah, and I didn't get an email. I, I had to just go straight to Facebook oh, and nice. get in on that way. So, okay. You may not have me because I'm not normally there. So you might not have me on there. So, well, let's see, let's see if I can see if this other lady's trying to get in. Where'd she come from? There she is. Hmm. Missed the, te the copy. Right. Let's see if I can find it here. Bear with us just a moment, please. No problem. Well, the funny thing is, is when I, when I'm under pressure like this, I get, I start, my brain starts to blank out. Like, Where do I go next? I do that too. Okay. So if I'm on this page and I copy and paste this gal. Never she says that. she's still trying. See more. It's not doing it. Okay. It's a preview of my Facebook page. Why don't they just let me look at it? Yeah. The, oh, go, go, good. She's got, her name is Jill Freeland. So she'll be here. Oh, Jill Keel. She'll be here in just a second. Wonderful. Oh, and there's Mary. Hello, Mary and Kent. Good to see you. All right. Well, let's go ahead and um, we will uh, go ahead and do the thing where you slide it over all the way. There we go. And then um, do the recording or the view slideshow. Slideshow. There we go. All right, here we go. Thanks for being patient. <clears throat> okay, so we are Ted and Karen Meyer, multi stake Temple and Family History Consultants for the Scottsdale, Arizona Coordinating Council. And we're gonna be teaching you the, the real way to use partner access or the bridge method in genealogy. Using the bridge me method in genealogy, let's move on. Okay. 
So when most people do research, they go to a site and they use their database. And the procedure is to log in, use a search engine, uh, enter some of the data that is specific to your person, and then the database returns information. When members, members use family search, they build a tree based upon the research and family lore. They clarify and, and verify family lore through gathering real evidence. And we know family lore can be a little bit misleading sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of like the telephone game. And then we find additional evidence in family search files. Finally, they have built a tree based upon fact, not just upon family lore. Exactly. So in 2018, Family Search made partner access available to its members. Each partner brings a different type of data, which gives a positive spin to the research table, with Family Search being the central figure. <clears throat> People were excited to have new areas to research, and they didn't have to purchase the luxury sites. Right. So they would use Family Search. They use partner access, and then they have this beautiful tree. So the procedure to do it correctly required the member to access a certain page within Family Search. They start on the same page every time they want to add a partner, and they click on each partner one at a time. They create a separate login and password, and going in from this way shows the, the company that you acquired it legally for free. And to some, it seemed like a lot of work. But any other way of signing up would incur a charge requiring your credit card. That's right. And these are the partner access and the price per year for each of the access points. And if you didn't sign up, you can expect to pay about $1,200 for your partners. Right. So why aren't more people using these partners if the, if the church generously gives them each $1,210 worth of uh, research abilities. Well, oh, and one other thing is when you do log in correctly, you'll be able to know you did it right because you'll be able to see words like LDS affiliate in your uh, member account, or it might say um, Church of Jesus Christ membership. People who didn't do it correctly were upset that their card got charged, mm -hmm. abandoned the option of having partner access, didn't know how to teach this method to others, and wondered why they hadn't received any training. Some of the more successful stories have come from those watching everything you always wanted to know about partner access. Which is on our uh, blog. So some people didn't really want to do this. They decided you know, I'm too old to change my ways. I'm going to stick with one source. And Family Search was their choice. For a little extra effort, people we know experienced amazing stories like this. Here's um, Mike Duran says, incidentally, thank you for introducing me to American Ancestor. And that is the partner that has the largest Catholic uh, database in, in existence. Um, and so it tied all my grandparents together showing a mass immigration from 1897 to 1902. And he sent me some of the files. And all I could say was, wow, Mike. <laughs> some signed up correctly and then went directly to the partner site. So going directly to the partner site is not really the way to do it. You Here, you, there's a very small access point you put in a name, a date, and a place. And they receive marginal records because they input marginal information. 289 records may or may not be him. They had to weed through the and filter through the files. They could not see any advantages of getting it for free. But now in any one of these partners, you can uh, build your tree in there just by importing your family search tree and it will constantly be looking for hints for you. And viewing this, actually doing the follow-up will increase your results. However, not using partner access the way it was intended could equal or minimize your present results. Family 
family tree and find my past, my heritage, and ancestry. These are all. These are all created from an import of family history, family search total. Exactly. People with already established trees, which you know at least had to eight or ten generations, who use partner access correctly. Here's just a few of the results. By doing it the way we taught them, one got 10 extra generations, another 10 extra generations, another 22 extra generations, 25 generations, 17 generations. And there are many more. We have like 149 trees that we've been working on and they're all getting great results. I didn't want to take the time to learn something new. I didn't want to pursue it, but using this method, I was able to change a female last name to a blank and then found a marriage license for my grandmother with her real maiden name spelling in it correctly. This led to my whole line opening up by 10 generations. And this is, we're using the, actually Pazilla here. If you've ever had the opportunity to learn that, we can also teach you how to use that. In this scenario, the patron said, I didn't really want to take the time to, to learn something new. I just want, didn't want to pursue it. But using this method, I was able to find a great grandfather. Then I found his wife. And then I used her maiden name from the marriage certificate to search for her parents nearby on a prior census before the marriage, just like you suggested. And it opened up 22 generations. So you can see where the dead ends are. This is another version of Pazilla. So doing research the way it was intended gains us successful results. We start in family search, it's integrated facts are gained in partner access, weighs the facts against multiple sources and passes them back on in increasing family tree exponentially. And that increases opportunities for ordinances. So we want to show you how it should work. First, you log into Family Search. By going back to the beginning, start at this website to sign up your partner access. Exactly. Then we log into each partner, each one having their own tab, and minimize it in the background, keeping the bridge open from Family Search to each partner. And if you if you don't what don't quite know what minimize means, if you look up at the top corner of your screen, you'll see uh, little symbols like this. And the one that looks like a takeaway sign means minimize. Go to your tree, click on a profile <clears throat> of an ancestor, click on the blue name, and now click a partner like ancestry. Oh. It went one too fast, hold on. There we go. So here's a sample of the bridge working on partner access. It gives you a bridge to use for easy research findings. First, like he said, you, you open a profile. Then you click on a partner. Then you, it takes you directly to your ancestor. Passing the relevant information. Right. And how does it do that? Clicking on the partner brings into the search engine all of your hard work from Family Search. That is really proven with documentation. Already, yep. And so the thing that I would change a little bit is you see where it says all collections there? Well, if you change that to, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. If you You're change that in. to um, to United States, that's where he was born, right? So you change, you try to be more specific by choosing the country of origin instead of all collections. Or the country you're actually searching in. And especially when you're looking on ancestry, that's a sticky key. So you have to watch it. Sometimes it, you'll say, I want to search in Italy and it won't stay in Italy. It'll jump back to Germany or if, wherever if, you were before. If your individual was born in another state or another country, then you might want to select that country if you're trying to find a birth certificate. So what does this page tell us? Uh, all of them from birth to death. It will find your specific person 
first right at the top, followed by each linked source and many categories. At least one of these was a new source showing he lived in not just Oklahoma, but also on a Native American reservation of the Chickawa. Chickasaw. Chickasaw. Okay. Right. So, you know, you can find new information just by doing this method. So let each person try to try to use their training to help you. If you need help, we're always here for you. You can email us anytime. Uh, your first person to ask for help is a consultant. If she or he can't help you, then ask your temple and family history leader or elders quorum president or bishop. If he or she can't help, the next step is to go to the state temple and family history consultant. And the next would be the director of family history center and then your high counselor over family history. Your multi-stake temple and family history consultants stand ready to help train anyone that the high counselor would like assistance with. So now what we'd like to do is turn the time over to you. And um, of course, these, this is where you might reach us, but we'd like to, to hear how you've been able to use partner access and what, what have you gained? What have you learned? Karen, uh, this is Susan. Um, I have a question first. Um, I had, I set up the partner access a long time ago, uh -huh. but I don't think I went through that. You had a word in there, campaign, campaign yes. dot partner access. Yes. So is the camp, is that something new? The campaign? You know, it's when you're, uh, I'm a web designer and I know what, I know what they do. <laughs> these these uh, people who work for family search or any website they think that they're going to make um, the navigation easier by changing those little those little uh, urls the little addresses and so every once in a while they'll re re adjust and so now it, you, you write in familysearch.org slash campaign slash partner access all one word all lowercase so it would probably be a good idea for me to go back in and redo that. Just to see the word using the word campaign in it. Yeah. Well, I, if if you signed up when it was originally familysearch.org slash partner access, you're still signed up. Yes. Okay. All right. Because it seems like I am, but um, I can tell you one little story um, that took me i had been looking for my husband's great grandfather forever we just mm -hmm. never ever could find anything on him and i got a pop-up through partner access from find a grave and wondered is that the name and i went there and i have found and i was able to verify it was him because i found his grandfather's name listed as a child so mm -hmm. i knew that it was the right person that hooked me into amazing uh, stories about him. He was a very well-known um, minister, Lutheran minister in a little town in the South somewhere that we knew nothing about. So there was a lot of write-up about him. All of his children are there, his sib siblings. It's just been an amazing connection. That would not have happened without partner access. I, I think that's how it happened. So Yes, yes. And have you been doing it the way we've been talking about? I think so, yes. I go in through family search and then I see it over on the left or the right side and the different. But you you guys, it looks like you're getting more than I did. I, I'll have to really pay attention to that. And okay. Yeah, it looks great. Well, once you find those stories, are you taking them and importing them into your tree? As a member, no, of course not. That would be <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> well, I want to be helpful. <laughs> I want to tell you what happens when you do that. So, and we want more people to pull in more stories because if you go to and, it, and go ahead and write this down, it's https colon slash slash. Why don't you type it in? I could in the chat. Yeah. Um, and then it's stories dot and then it's three words put together family found app dot com family found app yes a p or a p p a p p 
dot com or org? Yes, dot com. Com, dot com. Cool. Now let me okay. tell you what happens with this. It is amazing. Stories dot family found. Okay. So when you click on this, and you can all do it while we're talking if you want to. You click on that and then log in with your family search login. And what it does is it imports all of your tree into this app. Then it uh, takes, it finds stories from every generation, every edition that anyone who's ever linked onto your tree or that you've pulled into your tree. And it literally dumps them out on either side of the fan chart. So can anyone wow. do that log in while they're or go ahead and log into this while you're while we're talking, because what you're going to find is just phenomenal. Now you can take those stories and you can create a book in, about them just by copying and pasting them into a Word document. And then you could you can actually um, publish them on Amazon for free. I can show you how. And you, you'll have a little book of all these wonderful stories from your family to give at Christmas time. Ah, okay. The ultimate genealogy gift. Okay, so I, it's now taking me into. It's pulling search. your, it's pulling your, your family search tree in. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. You're muted, but you can wave at us. <laughs> You're still muted. Yeah, you're still muted, but we'd be interested to hear because I know you have a, a quite an extensive tree. I'll bet, I'll bet. So it really I was trying to go in, but I apparently didn't write down the right address. It was H. Did you write it in the chat? I did. I did. HTTPS colon slash slash. It's under, it's under All right. chat. Let me try this again. Okay. HTTPS colon slash slash. Uh -huh. Stories. Yeah, I did that. Dot family found mm -hmm. app, all one word. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow, it's working like crazy. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> dot com. Oh, is it dot com? Yes. Dot com, yeah. Oh, that's what I thought I put in. Let me see. Oh, all right. Let me see now. Now log in with your family search login. Can you see how it, how it literally dumps all the stories out to the side of the fan chart? Yeah. And wherever there's a blue dot, that's a name that has some kind of amazing right. story behind it. It could be a revolutionary hero. It could be a prisoner of war. It could be a journal entry. You just never know. It may even be a trip to a mental hospital. Yeah, it could be a trip okay, to a Okay, so when I click on that, on the little blue dot. Yes. Uh... No, to the left of the blue dot, to the right of the blue dots, there, the stories should line up. Um, okay, I'm not seeing that. Oh, they're down below. It, oh, it, went, it didn't okay. go to the side. It went, it went below. Okay. So, okay. All right. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. Please teach it to somebody else. Yeah, that's awesome. The more people know about this, the, I just think it's amazing. There's so many wow. stories that we have that we keep up here. But if yeah. we're gone tomorrow, the story's gone. Right. That's cool. Very good. And also keep in mind that most of these partners have the ability of transferring bring references from their site to family search site and vice versa. Oh yeah, okay. that's, that's a good thing to pull up. Do you know, um, have, yeah. it, have any of you had experience with myheritage.com? Raise your hand if you know about myheritage. I know about it, but I haven't used it. Okay. Yes, we've used it. So in myheritage, uh, once you find something, first of all, they have more family trees that are non LDS, right? So, yes. So you you know there might be, uh, like I had a cousin who had. If there's uh, any more stuff you want. Who had stories. You want any of those treats? <laughs> I had a cousin who had stories uh, that I had never seen before, and she was pulling them out of a trunk, and putting them on her site, and putting them on. Um, uh, her my heritage site, and when I clicked on them, I was able to take the source just by clicking on it, and take it directly right. to 
um, to our am I I taking him home or is am I taking him? It's home not am I. Okay, so Read somebody's it. not muted. <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> okay. So um, so yeah, we really want you to know all about the stories dot family found app. I think you'll really enjoy that. And also, have you had the opportunity to take a black and white photo and colorize it yet and animate it? Have you seen that happen? That was a beautiful situation. I, I, I love doing that. Hey, Karen, can I ask a question? Sure. sure. All right. You said that we need to put a tree on these, these partners in order to make it the most effective. Well, it does, it's helpful. So how do I put a tree on to um, say, find my past? Find my past, it, they'll let you build it right there. There's no way to like move it from- oh, Import it? Yeah, import it. All right, let me try to bring it up. Let me go over here. I noticed that when I logged in, um, I noticed that it had hints for me. And it was because I had started my tree over there. Log in. Now, since I already have a tree of sorts, I wonder if they okay. will. It's right there. Yeah, we want to share. Yeah, not yet. Let's pull it up first. Okay, go. Okay, so. Let's see, where's the share thing? There we go. Share my screen. Up here. Here uh, it is. This one. Okay. So now here's find my past. And uh, so this is someone on my first husband's side. But, you know, since I've got my whole family in there, then they're sending me hints for everything. And I don't have a very big family tree. Um, but they do send me hints for it. And I, so I wouldn't be able to show you how I imported it. Find someone on this tree because I've already got it in here. But I'm sure that if you look at one of these things here, my records, my account, it'll be in here. There'll be a little thing that says import your family tree. So that's, that's okay. how you do that. And then my heritage is a fascinating one. It's a lot like family search, but I've noticed it is, um, it, it does have more family trees that are not LDS. So that's how I found a cousin who had an amazing um, story. So look at these photos. So I was able to take these black and white photo and colorize it. Aren't these great? Those are beautiful. Yeah, this one was on um, the, the Tempe site. So they show you before and after, okay? Oh, I, I, so once you colorize it, then you can actually enhance it. So what you see here is before it's a little grainy and then this is the better picture. But before that, it was just this black and white one. Karen, will these all flow into Family Search then? Those pictures? I don't think the pictures do. I think you have to download them, and it's just as simple as uh, let's see. Just do a copy and paste, possibly too. No, so. it's it's download. So you put this little button oh, right I've here. I've got it. Okay. And it just brings it right into your computer, and then you can upload it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now you entered these by typing them in. You did not enter them through family search just okay. now, right? That you're showing us. These I just uploaded. Okay. No, but I meant when you went into this find my past and the my heritage, you did not go through family search. You mm -hmm. went directly to their website right then. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, let's so log into family search. We're just, I'm just doing it real quick here. So that's right. Okay. Looking. But you can access the same thing through family search. Yes. Look okay. At got it. This is a non-member has been having me work on her tree. 
that's the picture she gave me. Wow. And that's that she was able to see her grandmother for the first time. Oh, that's beautiful. Now watch this. Is that amazing? Oh, that is gorgeous. It brought oh. tears to her eyes. <laughs> so we downloaded it and she sent it to her mother. The same same reaction. It was just oh, wow. really, really wonderful. So go into family search. Go into family search. Okay. Yeah. So let's demo this directly. Oh, sure. Okay, so let's go, let's go to my family tree. I'm going to pick just a random person. How about my mom? Pick someone who's not living. Oh, who's not living? Okay, daddy, okay. So I click on his blue name because, uh, you know, you can get there, you can get to the profile in many ways, but when I say that, then it opens up the screen all the way and you can see all the data that we already have. And then when I go check on Ancestry, for instance, mm -hmm. it reminds me that we're leaving family search. And then look, that's just him. There's, right. I'm, not, I'm not waiting through anybody else's data. That is just my dad. Go, go into history on family search. History? Go on his tree. Oh, and his and tree? And yeah. Ancestry, I'm sorry. Oh, an ancestry. Okay, hold on just a moment. Okay, so uh, sure. Okay, <clears throat> go to this tree. Oh well, this is my my family tree here. That's okay. I got a lot of family trees in here. <laughs> Making me lock in again. They're like, "Are you sure? Do you know who you are?" All right. Yeah, so just about everybody we work with, we have a family tree on them. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a question when you get to a point where you can answer it. Sure, what do you need? When you go from family search into ancestry like you just did, mm -hmm. and it brings up that search page. Yes. How do you get from that search page to Michael Francis? This is all the information that it brings in. Everything that I worked for in family search. And then now it takes me right to my, my dad. Is that what you mean? No, but it doesn't take you to his profile. I mean, it, it shows all the search right there, but let's say you don't know how to find that ancestor in the tree. Is there any way you can go in and find that ancestor from where you were in that search page? Oh, okay. Well, from ancestry, let's right? let's pretend like we're in ancestry, where it says search here. You can you can do a, a just a regular search for anybody, but. Okay. But there's no way to just connect it. There's no link to That's take it right there to him, huh? I, I think what you're asking is, I'm over in Ancestry doing research. How do I connect him to someone I have an Ancestry? No, in Family Search. Hang on. But is the question, do, how do I find him in Ancestry or in Family Search? In Ancestry. ancestry. Okay, well, we did that. That's where we were. We went from here. No, you didn't find him in the tree. I just did research. Yes, you're getting my drift. So you yes. can't. How do you get from that page right there to, to the his profile page? Oh, I'll show you here. Watch. So now let's say I want to save it. So I'm going to save it to someone in my tree. Uh huh. And I'm saving it to Michael Francis, which I probably already have done it already, but. We're so gonna... that's the only way you can do it then. Michael Francis. Hold on. There he is. So now it will take us to his this is gonna this is his profile. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. But here's something you might not have known how to do. Okay, so hold on just a second. Let's just, while we're here, we'll save it. Now we're in his tree. Do you see this little tree up here where my cursor is? And it looks like a little family search tree, right? I've got the chat box in the way, I think. Let me see. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Now let me show you some a miracle here. So we click on this and it says, hey, you know, we're going to hook you back up to family search if you're not already in there. And then look what it does. Watch this. Now I can compare him with whatever family search has. Hold on. Hang on. <laughs> it's trying to renegotiate here. Of course, this happens on a live show, right? <laughs> of course. Let's try uh, sign in. Come on, sign me in. It's trying. There must be 100,000 people on it right now. Okay, let's try a different way. Just for fun, let's see if we can get in on anybody else's name. So we're going to go to his profile. And we see the little tree again. Compare it with him on family search. Are they going to let me do it? Nope. No, they're having technical difficulty. So basically what, what I'm trying to show you, ah, this is frustrating because it's a really cool thing. Um, how do we show, how do I show her? I really want to show her. Go back to family search. Back to family search, which is I can't see because the chat box is in the way. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, let's see if we can go farther. Can we move the chat box? Oh, we yeah. can, we can move it. All right, so let's go back to Michael. That's ancestry. We want to go back to Michael and family center. Okay. So now what do you want me to do? Um, I really want to show her how to connect somebody from, from, um, from family search to ancestry. So you, let's say you've done a bunch of, a bunch of uh, research in ancestry and you have all these files that you want to bring it over go to? Right, go to right that, that one. Go to look at your tree in that. Look at my tree. Find it. Find the tree. Pull this box down again. Oh yeah, I got to pull the box down. Here we go. Oh, because we're we need to. Which tree you want me to look at? Just drag it all the way to the bottom. Oh, okay. Get it out of your way. <laughs> Sorry. Can you? Am I messing you guys up? Well, where did you end up going to? There. Okay. Now look in the trees. All right. And go to your tree. Here's my tree. And go to, now go to Mike. Go to Dan. Mm. That yeah. says that he's connected, that little thing right there. And that's just going to give me his picture. So does it just link the two or does it link information? It links all the files. Let's see if it does compare person. Okay. So we tried this first. Okay. View the person on family search. Now go back to ancestry. Let's compare the person on family search. It's not doing it. <laughs> well, what it does, let me try to explain. And I have actually have a little video on how to do this. So I will put that on the blog tonight. Um, so what it does is it shows you how to um, take data that you've found in ancestry you click a little button and it slides over to answer to family search and that's all you have to do it takes the sources it takes everything over to family search you, you can move them back and forth so i'm sorry if this little exercise confused anybody <laughs> no i appreciate just you even explaining that because i've never quite understood what it was supposed to do yeah no. it's when just... you compare it it'll bring up all the references you have on family search and all the references you have in ancestry and you can move them either from family search to ancestry or, or from ancestry to family search right 
Yes, uh, so I'm going to want to hook up everybody I can then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let me try this one. Let's see if we can get in on this one. Okay. Let me do it. Please let me do it. Yay! Yep. All right. So this is what this Family like Search has. Sure. No, I, th I think I saw a glimpse of what happened there. Somebody in, did a merging situation. And so my Michael Concanon isn't linking up properly okay. with my ancestry. Okay. So, um, cause they didn't do it right. So scroll down. Okay, so, so here we show that he died in March, but this one didn't have it. Did you see that? We found it over here in Ancestry, but Family Search didn't have that correct date. When you click on this, it takes it to Family Search and it takes all the sources and everything. So let's go down a little farther, see if we can find some more. The good ones are down here. And, and so here's, here's the, the marriage. marriage, right? So when we click on this, it takes them all over to family search. All these sources. What do you think of that? That's fabulous. Isn't that no. slick? No. Now here, it, we didn't have it in Ancestry, but now we do. You see? Oh, I can't wait to do that. Here's another one. Now it's in Ancestry. So I found a ton of these and I didn't, uh, this is perfect because I was, I've been trying to get back here to do this double check. So these are all right. Here's oh, another view that this one's an ancestor needs to go to family search. This is maximizing on your time as a research person. Now this only works in Ancestry. It doesn't work in the other partners. It does. It, that's what I was trying it, to tell you about. My heritage my does heritage it too. Does it too. Oh. Yeah. So I want you guys to write to me and tell me what you find as a result of learning these things. Because this is, I just think it's fascinating. It makes life so much easier. Just think of all the times we've had to write all of these things in publication date june 4th 1923 publication place merit in connecticut you don't have to do that it does it for you oh, just... oh veterans World War II. another marriage i can do these later but i just wanted to show you how how easy it is let's go down to the bottom and we just go ahead and save the changes and now all the moves that you made are saved in both now sides. Now they're saved on both sides. And this shows you that it's linked. Perfect. I'm doing that. Yeah. That's wonderful. Okay. So what else can we help you with? I don't want to hog, but I do have another question. Sure. Is there a way to take a tree from ancestry and put it import it into family search it is possible but they don't recommend it yeah okay and the reason I... they don't recommend it is because of the uh duplication but if you can if you've got an ancestry tree you want to kind of work into family search then go up to those links at the top they'll be green and link it up to individuals that match up with those uh, people you have in Ancestry. That's a cleaner way of doing it. And if for some reason that person does not exist in Ancestry, then, or, or, or in Family Search, you can actually create a new person. Okay, so I have a sister in our ward who doesn't have Family Search tree yet. So if she just adds a few of the living information and whatnot, it should generate that tree for her then, right? Yeah, as soon start, as she starts with, as soon as she gets to the first deceased person, the tree will populate. If, okay. If it's in family search. Right. Okay. If it's not I'm in sure family search, then she can proceed with the linking. 
and creation of individuals. Okay, that's great. That's a great idea with that linking then. But here's another thing. If she doesn't have any information and she's just learning how to do this right off the bat, I would tell her to build her tree in Ancestry and link it like we just showed you with the little tree. Okay. Because it's just, Ancestry is a little more intuitive. Um, it, and it weighs all the, the different options and gives you the best scenario. Family search, you have to kind of know what you're looking for. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. You, have to, you may have to know, you know the names of the people. Yeah. And then it searches for them. So. Okay, that's a good suggestion. I, I haven't been able to actually meet with her yet, but we're working on it. So Perfect. we'll get it done. Sounds great. And what stick are you from? I'm in Reno. Reno. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I'm really glad you joined us tonight. I am too. I appreciate I just stumbled on it through Facebook. So this has been great. Well, good. We do this the second Saturday of every month. And then next, next month, at 5 p.m. Arizona time. At 5 p.m. Arizona time. And next month, I think I'm still going to do it. I'm having surgery on the 14th for a hip replacement. And uh, so right before that is the second Saturday. So I think we'll go ahead and do it in December. Yep. And then depends on what happens. We may or may not be ready in January. But yeah, just uh, if you guys have a topic you really would like us to explore, then uh, send us a drop us a line and uh, see what we can put together for you. Exactly. Let me put our, let's see, where's our little thing that shows the chat? Here we go. I'm going to put our, our email address here. And anytime you want to know anything, if we can help you, if we know it, We'll, we'll certainly help you. If we don't know it, we'll find out. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, a little little information uh, uh, that we're, we kind of got through the grapevine is that uh, the church is going to start making a greater push of uh, in, uh, integrating family search, family history into the missionary, live missionary um, teaching those. Um, so they're trying to get consultants to go out with the uh, full-time missionaries when they're teaching and uh, help develop an individual's family tree uh, so that at some point in the future, if they ever get uh, baptized or even if they don't get baptized, we'll have done some of the work for them. And then once they've joined the church, they will have people ready to baptize. And we've seen tremendous results with this. Um, the beauty of it is they're working on their family tree while they're taking the lessons. And then they have, once they get baptized, they have a, like a year's worth of names to keep them active. And that what that does is that increases the retention numbers for the, the stake. It's just a wonderful thing. <laughs> and the longer you can uh, keep someone active, the longer that they'll, the, big, the greater chances are that they'll, remain a, a full-time member for the rest of their life. And as President Nelson says, it's, on, it's all one work. It's all one work. Missionary and family history. Saving individuals on both sides of the veil. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming. We're going to have a little closing prayer real quick. And then would you do that for me? Let's see if someone wants to volunteer. Mary, would you give us a closing prayer? Sure. Am I the Mary? Yes. <laughs> Mary, you're the better. I would, I would love to. Our Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for this time that we have spent in thy spirit and guidance and training. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for what we have learned, what we have felt, for those things that have blessed us and will bless many of thy children. We're thankful for the knowledge and expertise and tenacity of Brother and Sister Myers for blessing us in so many ways. We ask that thy spirit will be with us and attend us in all of our activities and help us in the ministering we do through temple and family history work and bless us to have 
the spirit of angels with us. We're grateful for all thy blessings that gives us each day for this country, for our prophets and for our leaders, for the knowledge and the technology that we have today. And we ask a special blessing that thou will bless Karen as she goes in for surgery, that everything will go well. We ask these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. So this will be up on our blog. So anyone you know of that might have missed it, make sure they know that they can still watch it uh, and they'll still get um, valuable information that we went over about other partners. So Karen, I just yeah. want to say, say that this has been one of the using partner sites has been one of the, the greatest um, areas that we have in teaching all of our our ward and temple family history leaders and consultants and every we're always climbing trees of someone all the time to give this one-on-one -on -one discovery experiences yes and this is by far um they love generating and they love adding names and then they're getting and now they're getting notices from family search saying you're the top um person who is adding into your tree and oh. and the stakes are saying wow look at our stake it's um in fact our the area person or the area authority came down and and said, look at this stake. Look how you are generating all of these names. And this is unheard of. There aren't stakes like this. And the wards are getting that too. And individuals are getting that, which is wonderful because that's more motivation. But it comes from when they're using partner sites the right way. Yes. And they are and opening up. I mean, the Lord is blessing us with all of these different and, and he's blessing all of these other people who are generating and making um, all these other websites and the sites, these partner sites available. Yes. And he's just opened it up to the world because his children are worldwide. But it's been a great, it is, it's just, um, it's amazing to me because I started doing family history back on the old pedigree charts with my mom when I was about 10 years old. <laughs> me too. So, uh, so, you know, all those years and everything we've gone through and, and the trips to the library and all and all the microfish and everything else that took so long to do everything yes. and how what we have at our fingertips now and what a blessing it is. And and, you know, when, and when you are when you are being led to these people mm -hmm. and these relatives and taking their names to the temple and you feel them there and you know that they're there um, and others around you. I've had experiences where even um, if I'm the ordinance worker with someone coming in and we're both in tears because you can feel and you know that they are there and what a blessing, what a blessing it is. And so thank you so much for all your work in doing that. And we certainly validate everything you're saying about partner sites. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you next month. Thank you. Have a good Thanksgiving, everyone. Every, you everybody, too. you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.